Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I work with a lot of couples. You know, couples are everywhere, whether you're business partners, whether you're married, whether you're domestic partners. Even couples can be considered as you working with your kids sometimes. So I'm going to talk about the marriage type of couples right now and the domestic partner kind of couples, the romantic couples, people that have made a commitment to each other their entire life. So you're one of those, listen up. Because there are a few things that people do that are huge violations of coupleship. And if you'll pay attention to these things, it's going to create not only a good relationship and marriage or domestic partnership, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to have you a deep appreciation with each other. And you're going to find it's going to be a long, wonderful time together. And the first thing is, is one of the things a lot of people think is a problem. If couples can fight, that is an indication that they're still caring in that relationship. People don't fight and get mad unless they care. Many people think people who fight means they don't get along. No, it's just a disagreement. And there can be all kinds of disagreements, and sometimes those fights can really seem to get out of control. However, if you're willing to fight and work through that, that really adds good positive energy to your relationship and it gets away from steam and holding on to things which can build up over the years. The next thing that many people just don't get, as we get married or as we create a relationship with someone, people are going to change. People are going to grow. You have to be willing to let your spouse or partner grow. Whether you like it or not, whether they do things that you agree with or not, you've got to allow them to experiment and grow in their life. Now, I'm not talking about having affairs and going out on you with someone else. I'm talking about growing spiritually, emotionally, scholastically, and intellectually. You have to be able to support that for that person to grow because really love is all about wanting the best for that other person. Another thing is that many people get lazy with is saying thank you. Remember, this is someone you love and you have to show respect and also show that you really, really appreciate them. By saying thank you, not just expecting, it can create a huge warmth towards open communication more than you would think. Another thing is to ask for good feedback. Good couples act kind of like the A-team. They consult each other. They're kind of experts in their own right. Really be willing to talk to your spouse or partner about their opinion on something and really listen to it because many times they know more than you. Even if you're an expert in your own field, their objective view from being not in it every day can be huge feedback for you. Use that. Also, one of the things you have to be aware of is feedback in that communication in another way. Be brave enough to ask your spouse or partner, how do you know that I love you? How do you know that? What do I do to make you know that? And listen carefully. And if they take too long to answer that question, you might have a problem. Start working on that one. Because if someone doesn't know that you love them, and it's more than just saying it, it's showing it. Keep in mind, women look for evidence through behaviors. Men, who knows what they're looking for? But women are looking for evidence, not lip service. So in your marriage, in your relationship, if you can follow these guidelines, it's going to make a huge difference in the closeness of that relationship, getting rid of some of the stored up steam that's there, and be willing to take responsibility for the things you've done wrong and admit it. Admit that you have improvement. Everybody does. There's no experts at marriage or being in a relationship. Admit your frailties and be willing to work on it and show that in that relationship. Let's all work on this a little bit better. There's not one of us that cannot approve upon it. And if you think you're an island all of yourself and you're doing it perfectly, you're the one that's in trouble. It's time to start asking questions and listen. And that's not just for the men, that's also for the women. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to have an extraordinary, close, loving relationship. Bye-bye.